hi guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing great so i will be showing you how to cut a very simple a-line dress with a collar the a-line dress is going to have a side seam pocket it's also going to have a patch design on the body so i have here these two yards of crepe fabric i also have this a, a, a leftover ankara fabric so this Ankara fabric, I'll be using it as a sleeve. I'll also use it as a collar and I'll be cutting out this design on this Ankara as a patch design I'll be placing on the gown. So I've gone ahead to cut out the patch design as you can see. So this is it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to start cutting. So the length of the gown is 40 inches plus 1 inch, let me allow one to give me 41 inches. So from here down to here is 41 inches. So I will be using my basic bodice pattern to cut this gown just to trace the armhole and the neckline. Okay, so this is it. So the shoulder measurement is, a, is 15 inches, the bust measurement is a 40 inches, the waist is 34, but we don't need round waist here because it's going to be an A-line gown. The hip is a 44 and the half length is 17 we need half length because that's where i'll be uh, placing my pocket okay so i've already marked out the angle next is to trace the shoulder and the neckline so the neckline for the front is going to be three inches by three inches so I'm done. The next thing is to remove this pattern. So I'm going to mark my bust, the quarter of my bust measurement. That is the bust is 40 inches. Divide by four will give me 10 plus uh, one and a half hemming allowance will give me 11 and a half. I need to add a half inch to this because it's going to be a free gown. If it's not a stretchy fabric, I will add one. But because it's a, stre a stretchy fabric, I will add half. Hope you understand that. So what we'll have is 10 plus uh, one and a half for seam allowance and half for, for ease will give me 12 inches. So I'll mark 12 inches. So the half length is a uh, half length is a uh, 17 inches so i'll mark 17 inches here so i will know where i'll be placing my pockets so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark the round hem so here i'll be working with hip allow hip measurements the hip i'm working with is 44 plus 44 divided by 4 will give me 11 inches i'll add five to that 11 inches making it a uh, 16 inches plus 1.5 seam allowance will give me 17 and a half. Am I right? 11 plus 5 will give me 16 plus 1 and a half will give me 17 and a half. So I'll be marking that as my red, uh, my round, my round uh, hem measurement. Hope you understand that. So I'll mark 17 and a half here. So next, I'm going to connect from my bust down to the hemline. Next is to cut out the front. 
So I'm going to notch the half length because that's where I will be placing my pockets. Remember, so I'll mark these points. So at the hemline by the side here, I'm going to go up by one inch or one and a half and I'll connect back to the hemline. This will enable my garment to be looking pointed by the side. So I'm going to do that now. I'll go up by one, in, half, one and a half inch and I'll connect back to the hemline this way. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll connect back to the hemline this way. So next I'm going to cut the back using the same method but I'm going to use my back pattern to do that and I will come back and show you what to do next. So I'm done with the back. So the neckline I use for the back is 3 inches by half inch. 3 inches by half inch depth. Okay. So I use the back pattern for the back. Okay. I also came up by 1.5 at the hemline and I connect back to the hem. Okay, that is by the side. I came back, I came up by 1.5 and I connect back to the hemline so that my side will not be looking pointed, just like what I did at the front. Okay, so that the, the difference between the front and the back is just the angle and the neckline. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to open the center back by five to six inches. Because I'll be inserting a button and a button book, or I'll even use a book and eye. I'm not sure of that now. So I'll come down by five inches. So this is five inches. I'll open it up by five inches. So this is it. Remember in the center back. I'm doing this okay so this is it so the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out a facing for this center back I'm going to place the center back on this fabric, another fabric just to cut the facing. This way. So I'm going to trace the neckline. Just the neckline here. Hope you can see what I'm doing, and I will mark that five inches. Can you see? So this is the neckline. What I'm going to do is just to form a U shape. A U shape. Now the length of the facing is going to be is going to be eight inches, and I will open up by five inches. Remember, I open the center back 
by 5 inches. So I'm going to open the face here by 5 inches, but the length is going to be 8 inches. So this is 8 inches here. Now I'll form a U shape this way. And I'll cut it out. It's just a small facing. So what I'm going to do is I'll iron an interfacing to it before I'll use it to turn up the opening at the center back. Okay. So this is how it's going to look like. Can you see? Can you see? So that's that. So what I'm going to do now is to cut the pockets. So I'm going to fold my fabric into four. I'm cutting the pockets. So the length of the pockets will be eight and a half and the depth is going to be is going to be nine or well, let me do ten. Nine is okay. So this is the depth and the length is eight and a half. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place my hand this way and I will trace the shape of my hand this way. It's just very easy to cut. Can you see? I will trace the shape of my hand and that is it. Cut it out now. Can you see? I need to open up the seam first. Now I'll cut. So this is the pocket. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fix the pocket to the body of the, the gown. So what I'm going to do is to get the pocket right side facing right side. I'll place it this way where I notch at the waistline. I'll sew it down by 0 0.5. Okay. Do the same on the other side of the gown. That is the back side. I'll open it up this way. When I'm done sewing, I'll open it up this, this way. Match ranks, uh, right side of the front and the right side of the back. And I will, from the ample, I will, from this side, there is a bust line. I will sew by 1.5, come down to where I have the pocket. I will go in by 0 0.5, sew around by 0 0.5, come out again, and start sewing by 1.5 down to the head line. Okay? But before I do that, I must have placed my patch design and secure it down, sew it and secure it properly. I join the pocket. Then when I'm done doing that, I will hem the gown, join the shoulder, and I'll come back and show you how to cut uh, the collar and how to fix the collar. Okay, I'm done joining the sides as you can see. I also fix the pocket, fix the patch design. So the next thing I'm going to do is to show you how to cut the neck collar. But before we do that, we have to cut our sleeve. So the length of the sleeve I'll be working with is 9 inches. The 9 inches include hemming allowance. I'm 
And the bicep ties I'm working with is a five inches. So this is five inches. From here to here is nine inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to get my armhole line. My armhole line is a nine inches. Sorry, it's eight and a half. So I'll mark eight and a half here at the biceps height line. Okay, I hope you're seeing what I'm doing. So the next thing I'm going to do is to connect from here. Okay, so my round sleeve is uh, 13 inches plus 1.5 will give me, okay, divide by two, 13 inches divided by two will give me 6.5 plus 1.5 same allowance will give me eight inches. So I'll mark eight inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure this curve and measure the angle curve to know whether it will match up. I have 12 here. So I'll measure the round angle. So I have 12 as well. So it will match up. So from here, I'm going to connect like this. If you don't understand what I'm doing, I'll suggest that you go and watch the video on how to draft a basic sleeve. I'll be leaving a link at the description box. So I'm going to cut now. So this is my sleeve. Next is to call the neck collar. So I'll start with the uh, collar stand. So I'll measure the neck, the neckline, and see what I have there. So my round neckline is uh, eight It's seventeen inches. So I'm going to divide 17 by 2, and uh, it will give me 8.5. So my fabric is on fold, okay? So I'll be marking 8.5 as my width plus half inch seam allowance will give me 9 inches. So this is my 9 inches here. So the height of my, that is the depth of the neck uh, Collar stand is three quarter. You can do one inch. Okay, let's do one inch. So this is one inch. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is to get the midpoint. So the midpoint is at four point five. Remember, it's nine inches that we we'll have there. So this is four point five. So I'll still go up by one inch. I'll go up, I hope you understand what I'm doing. And here, one inch. Okay, I'm going to go over this again. The, the, the width of the neck collar stand is 8.5. That is a round neckline measurement is 17 inches. Divide by two will give me 8.5. Okay, then I added a one a half inch seam allowance, making it nine inches. So that this is nine inches. That is the uh, width of the net, uh, collar stand. Okay, I have here nine inches as well. So the width is one inch. You can do three quarter if you wish. So the width I'm working with is one is one inch. Okay. So the next thing is to get the midpoint, and the midpoint is at 4.5. So this is my midpoint here. Remember that my fabric is on fold. So the next thing I'm going to do is at this point here, I'm going to go up by half inch, and I'll mark. At this top part, I will still go up by half inch, and I'll mark. Next, this first half inch, I will connect back to the midpoint this way. So 
Now I'll do the same at the second half inch. Connect back to the midpoint this way. Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to add the similar ones of one inch because I need half inch this side to uh, attach the collar stand to the main to the neckline of the uh, the gown, and I also need half inch to attach the collar to the collar to the collar itself. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to add a half inch, one inch, sorry. So I have one inch here, one inch here, one inch here, one inch here. So this is it, I'll connect back. So I'm going to cut it out so you can see the shape. So this is it. Can you see? So I'm supposed to call this edge here, but because of the kind of color I am making, I won't call the edge here. I am not making a color for a shirt dress or a shirt. I'm making a color that this part is going to be at the back, not at the front. Hope you get that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the second one because it needs a facing. I've already gone ahead to iron an interfacing to the fabric before cutting. But if you are making a collar for a shirt, I'll suggest that you get a collar stay. Mark, make your, mark your measurement on that stay, then you cut it out without no seam allowance. Iron it on your main fabric, add your seam allowance on your main fabric, then you cut it out. That is the way, the proper way of doing this, okay? So I will set this, this one aside and I will cut the main collar. So the, the width of the main collar is uh, my uh, neckline circumference, okay? Divide by two which is 8.5, remember? So I'm going to be adding one inch seam allowance because this side is going to, I'm going to open up the side and this side is also going to be open. So I need half inch here, half inch here seam allowance, okay? So when I add one inch to that 8.5, I should have a 9.5. So I'll mark 9.5 here. So the width, the depth of the color is a, three inches plus one inch seam allowance will give me four. So the width is four inches, okay? So this is it. So at this point, I'm going to, I'm going to come down by half inch here. I'll come down by half inch and I'll mark. At this down part, I'll also go up by half inch and I'll mark. Here, I'm going to go in by one inch and I'll mark. This one inch, I'll connect it to this line, this way. And here, I'm going to connect it to this side, this way. And I'll connect from here to the half inch this way. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Can you see? So the next thing is to cut it out. I'll cut, I'll start cutting from here. Here. This way. Can you see? So 
So this is our main color. I'm going to open it up. But if you are making for a shirt, uh, you don't need to open this side up. Okay, so this is it. I have four pieces. So it's going to look like this by the time I place it on the gown. This is how it's going to look like. Do you see? Okay. So the next thing is to go and stitch this top part. I will close up this top part, close here. I will leave this side. Sorry, I'm going to close up this upper part. Close this side, close this side, leave this down part. I will do the same on this one. Then I'm going to cut the second piece of this collar stand. So I've closed up this side, this three side, leaving this top part open because I'm going to fix this on the collar stand this way. You get? So I'm going to fix it this way on the collar stand. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place the collar here like this, getting the midpoint. I'll place this collar on at the midpoint of the collar stand. Okay. Remember that this place is going to have a one inch. This place, the gap, the gap is going to be one inch here and one inch at this side. Remember that. So I'm going to notch the midpoint. I'll notch the midpoint. Then place this color at the midpoint and this at the midpoint. And I'll place the second uh, uh, color standard is the, the one I'm using for the lining. I'll place it this way and I'll sew to the, this end. Close this part and I'll come back and show you how to fix it on the gown. So I'm done sewing as you can see. You can see my color is taking shape. Can you see? So this is how it's going to sit on the gown. And this side is going to be at the back. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? So this side is going to sit at the back this way. So what I'm going to do now is to bring my gown near the neckline. So I'm going to notch the center front. Then I'll posi position this collar at the center front. Okay, this way. And you see. Then from the back, I'm going to sew the lining first, the one I'm using as the lining, that's the placing, that is the color stand. Okay, I'm going to sew that one first, this way, starting from the back, I'll sew it round, leaving this very one, this one. Then when I'm done sewing, I will now push the seam inside this way and use this one, folding in my allowance of 0.5, I use it to cover the other See, that is the allowance. Hope you get that. So when I'm done sewing, I will still sew round. And when I'm done sewing, I will come back and show you. I also fix my sleeve. And I will come back and show you the finished look. Okay, I'm done sewing as you can see. So this is the finished look. So this is my color. And this is the back. Can you see? So I attach, look at the eye at the back as you can see. So this is the back. Can you see? Can you see? And my sleeve. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.